Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, an earthquake warning, storms, and top science news, as always. But let's begin at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the equatorial coronal hole incoming. Still no sunspots or solar flares, but the intensified solar wind stream from that coronal hole is expected to impact Earth early next week. The coronal hole is so prominent, it's easily visible in 171 angstroms, which is not usually the case. And just behind it going north is a thin dark rope that is a sizable plasma filament coming in just behind the coronal hole. Solar wind here. Apart from the cosmic ray spikes, we don't have much affecting the telemetry, and geomagnetic conditions are quiet for now. It is noteworthy that Earth's upcoming magnetic connection to that coronal hole brings about the next excess seismic magnitude warning, likely kicking in tomorrow and through the weekend, but in the meantime, it has been weeks since we shook into high magnitude 6 range or above. Yesterday's top rumble was 6.0 out in the middle of the ocean. Severe storms rolled through Denver overnight. That was lightning hitting a tree, but the more widespread problem was flash flooding and hail. Looking a bit ahead, strong system just east of the Philippines is going to skirt over the islands and coastal regions between it and Taiwan, seriously, right between them, and then head west towards China for landfall. Keep in mind, these forecasts update multiple times per day, so locals stay informed. Grace Foe, up next, another of the projects I wasn't sure about in terms of products to come out, but the water weight gains due to rains and loss due to melt and drought is an interesting picture of weight distribution changing considerably over relatively short time scales. Such things used to happen on Mars. We have more confirmation and further detail on what the now red planet used to look like, and it was probably similar to Earth in many ways. Rain, rivers, seasons, until one day it wasn't. We're heading way out into the cosmos right now. In fact, technically further than we are able to see right now. But they do hope the James Webb Telescope will pierce through to the first star formations, Interesting video and accompanying article linked below. And speaking of below, we're heading down to the center of the Earth, the core, and a bit of shocking geophysics out this week cuts down the core rotation speed of our planet to only a 0.07 degree super rotation. That means if you stood at the core directly beneath where you are now, in one year you would only be four miles away from that same spot. Having moved slightly faster and making your way slightly more around the turn around the surface, that's either indicative of them not having a clue what's down there and how it behaves, or it means that Earth's modern rotation desperately relies on the core to keep its speed. Last but not least, we're talking nova, but not ones we see go off at vast distances throughout the universe. This is about the delivery of the Iron 60 isotope to Earth to fall in the snow of Antarctica. They say it's from just the last 40,000 years, and it couldn't be from very far away, likely from the interstellar regions right around us. Of course, the concern is that the greatest solar outburst could be something akin to a micronova, especially if enough dust is encountered by the solar system, in which case the dust would likely be left over from the last one, blast it out only to slow down, stop, and have the sun catch up to it as it tracks around the galaxy to fall in snow at the poles. Of course, the micronova and core rotation are not independent stories. Our cosmic disaster movie is linked below this one, explaining the connection with Earth's magnetic reversal and extinction cycles, and also linked below is our plasma cosmology movie, which will help explain why this all happens. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.40 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.